jazz today. We're doing jazz. To be a jazz drummer, it's harder than being a hip hop drummer. Do you hear that? That's jazz, man. That's jazz. This is a music education. All right, anyway, um, sorry to all jazz enthusiasts out there. That that was clearly not jazz, but I was having a little fun. This is the Raw Report. Bomb, do you know what to do? All right, we're back. We're back. A lot of things going on in the world. A lot of things going on in the world. We had some big surprises this week. Surprises for some, maybe not so much of a surprise for... Other people, Elon, Elon Musk, my main man, my motherfucking dog, Elon Musk, has went through with the purchase of the platform, Twitter. It's big. It's big. A lot of people out there don't like it. A lot of people out there like it. What are your thoughts? All I can say is the last time Elon Musk mentioned 420, it was Tesla stock. And then Tesla stock went to two thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? So now he's back saying that he's offering his bid to Twitter at fifty four dollars and twenty cents. Again, kind of a little funny. Same numbers as last time. A lot of people they they kind of equated it to Joe Rogan's podcast when he was on there smoking weed. Because the week before he said the four twenty price target at tw- on on Tesla, he was smoking on Joe Rogan's podcast. Now. I think it's a little bit different. Facebook, all of a sudden, boom, big explosion after earnings uh, this week, uh, up 20% in the aftermarket. Mark Zuckerberg, old Zucky, old Zucky, maybe they know something. Maybe they know something. Maybe they know that the uh, the metaverse is something that's going to be real. And maybe Twitter's trying to get in on it, get in on the action right now. But, you know, I'm not sure. I, you know, I don't really care if Elon board. Uh, Twitter because I'm I'm a big Elon Musk enthusiast and I think that hey if Elon Musk wants to buy anything let him do it like Elon Musk say hey Dice I want to buy your iPhone you think I'm gonna tell him no like yeah man it's all yours buddy here you go yeah. I'm not gonna tell him no oh no I don't know Elon no he's like hey Dice I want to buy one of your hats okay which one Elon no, just let me know we can make it happen you know what I'm saying like what are we talking one M two M per hat you know what I'm saying you know Four million per hat? I, I don't know. He's got that kind of bread, man. He could spread it around. He's spreading it around thick, man, like like Jiffy on a on a on a nice slice of brioche, man. Toasted. You ever had that? A nice slice of brioche toasted with a little peanut butter. I like to put a little jelly on top too. Just not, you know, not the full PB and J thing, because it's toasted. It's more like an open face, you know. It's like an open face thing. But um. Yeah, Elon, I'm, 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 I'm excited to see where this is going to go. And definitely, I have to be able to participate, at least like everybody else. So, look, Elon Musk buys a company. What should you do? Hmm, should you protest? No. Buy the stock, goddammit. Buy the stock. Twitter. I mean, Twitter is actually lagging behind. And I, I think Snapchat's lagging, too. I think that the shit actually should be up there. You know what I'm saying? But they're not charging enough money. So, okay, so if Twitter starts actually charging subscriptions, are people going to stop using it? No. The whole fucking planet is using it. I mean, you got fucking President Zelensky tweeting while he's being fucking bombed to death. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, got time for a tweet. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But still tweeting. Donald Trump tweeting like a fucking jackass every five minutes. You know, I I don't hate Trump. I'm not one of those black people that's like, oh, man, fuck Donald Trump. I don't even want to hear his name. It's like, uh, you don't want to hear his name? It's like, <laughs> he's president. Well, he was president of the United States. It's like, it's kind of, I'm like, oh, man, Donald Trump is the worst thing that happened in America since Hitler. I'd be like, wait. What? It's like, how do you equate the both? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, oh man, I don't, I don't know, man. Fuck Donald Trump, man. Like, he don't eat fried chicken. It's like, yo, Donald Trump does eat fried chicken. He loves the stuff. He can't stop eating it. Anyway, back to Elon. I'm curious to see where this is gonna go. Is Twitter going into the metaverse? Like, when you log into Twitter now, will you will it transport you into a different world? You know what I'm saying? A different world. But I, I think that um you know if anybody, sh- it should be allowed to buy Twitter because a lot of people don't want don't they didn't want it to happen they tried to block it, they tried to block it they tried to send they tried to send the blockers in, didn't work, money too long. Now here's the thing: is Twitter worth fifty eight billion dollars or what? I mean, is it 
44 billion things, Bob. Is it worth 44 Bs? Maybe. I mean, because Facebook just made, they're making 30 billion a quarter. You know what I'm saying? Google's missing, they're missing quarters by 20, 30 billion dollars. So it's like, well, damn. To that point, maybe it was a steal. Maybe Twitter's a steal. <clears throat> I just want to know, Bomb, are you going to pay for a subscription to Twitter? No, I think if I had to pay for it, I already don't use it that much. So if I had to pay for it, I would just use Instagram instead. Damn, so you're going to bail. Yeah. Damn. I I find that I don't really tweet for anything other than my music, which is cool. But like, I don't have that many followers on there anyway, so I'd rather just right do right. something else. What if they start charging for Instagram? You're gonna stop using it? Instagram, I would I would stick with. I feel like Instagram's a, a more valuable platform. Maybe that's you just me. You pay for Instagram, so okay. What's your price point, Bob? Where, 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 where do you start at? What do you think? What do you think Instagram's worth per per bomb? Uh. It's it's hard to say. I feel like I tap out at around like anything above ten a month would be a little ridiculous. So you'd pay ten dollars a month for Instagram? Yeah. You don't think that's excessive? I think it is. I think I think all websites should be free. To oh, use. all websites should be free. Okay. Yeah, okay. but uh, even OnlyFans dot com. <laughs> well, that's different. That's a little. Elon different. buy OnlyFans. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, no, I think uh, I think Instagram is just too valuable a tool for yeah. artists at this point in time. We kind of have to have a presence on social media, whether we want to or not. Mm. Yeah, I suck with social media. That's why I'm waiting for my boy Elon to get in here to pull some strings for me to get my get my Twitter back popping. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Elon, look out for a homie. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. Uh, Instagram, I I think most people will pay for Instagram, but then it's going to have to be like the hack because there's going to be so many people that want to have access to Instagram but don't have it anymore. So it's a, like you can still view people's stories, but you can't post. Or you can post, but you can't view other people's stories unless you pay. And it's like, okay, you can view, you know, 100 stories or, or 1,000 stories uh, from people that, that follow you for a set amount of money, I, you know. Mom set the bar ten bucks, ten bucks a month for IG. That's like Netflix. How much does Netflix cost? Is it ten? Netflix has been going up recently. It used to be ten, but I think it's closer to like fifteen or eighteen. Now. Holy shit! Really? Yeah, they're I gotta go home and cancel my Netflix. <laughs> they're struggling. Every it's like every few months they we get a message that's like your subscription price is going up on this date. Fuck Netflix! You just running me up. I remember the shit was fucking four dollars. I remember that shit was two dollars. They send you CDs and shit in the mail and, and fucking DVDs and oh my god. Oh. So I'm I'm just waiting for um. I want Elon Musk to buy Netflix and and then make start turn everything into Tesla movies. You know what I'm saying? And you think that's gonna benefit Tesla? I mean, like, so if he goes into to Twitter and then you got the Tesla with the smart glass. I mean, do you start tweeting from the car? Or do so when you drive by another person that's your follower, I mean, do they do they send you like a like a note like ding ding? Oh, I, hey, I just saw you in traffic, friend. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hey, this is Twitter. Okay, well, okay. Does mean did you does he plug Cash App into Twitter? I mean, does he turn Twitter into some kind of PayPal, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok thing? Because I mean, they're all getting their ass kicked by TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Like, every everybody's trying to be TikTok now. I'll be fucking it up on TikTok. <laughs> Fucking it up, fucking it up, dancing, fucking it. Okay, I'll be fucking it up on TikTok. Check me out. You know what I'm saying I'm a dancing fool. You know what I'm saying this is this is a video of me with a dancing bear. Have you seen it? No. Yeah, and it, the, the bear actually he goes nuts at the end of it. Starts fucking ripping the whole fucking set to shreds. It's just like they try to contain him. They wind up killing him. Poor bear. We killed him. Nah, I'm just joking. We didn't kill him. <laughs> We didn't kill him. No, nah, but Elon Musk, I, you know, I I think that it's it's interesting him buying Twitter, but I'd actually, and this was a joke earlier, but I'd actually be curious to see him buy OnlyFans. Like, if he wants to take OnlyFans into the metaverse, Elon. I mean, it's my idea. I just, I'm just i pitching it. This is a world. This is, everybody heard me. Elon, let's, let's you and I partner with Zuckerberg, you, me, Zucky, we go in, we buy OnlyFans, kind of like what Jay-Z uh, and Meek Mills just did with Mitchell and Ness, but I want to buy OnlyFans, right? 
And then I want to take the OnlyFans. I want to put that into the metaverse. I don't want to put it like the. I want to put a bunny ranch next to Snoop Dogg's house. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that comes to Snoop's house can, be, you know, the, the the Playboy Bunny Ranch is right next door to Snoop. So it's like we're getting a lot of foot traffic, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? And then we're making great connections. Cause I mean, Snoop knows everybody. I mean, he's hanging out with Diddy and Martha Stewart to Barack Obama. Yeah, I wonder if Snoop and Barack and Elon ever shared a dub. Like, you know, like that, you know, yeah. Snoop. I can see that happening. I can actually see that happen. Elon, hit me up. Let me know if you ever smoke weed with Snoop and Obama, same day. Um, but back to Twitter. You know, I mean, what, what's your thoughts? Are you are you worried that your civil liberties are at risk, Bob? Is that, are you one of those guys? No, that's I'm, I'm not so much worried about, about myself personally. I'm more so just worried about the content that will will or will not be allowed on the platform because he talks about free speech a lot but right. there's there is a there is a very thin line between free speech and misinformation right oh yeah oh, okay, okay so i think it's very easy for someone especially if they have a political agenda which i'm not necessarily saying that elon musk does but i right. think it's very easy for people to abuse a platform like Twitter mm. if they have some kind of agenda to make people believe a certain uh you know a certain perspective or a certain uh view on on politics or around a certain cultural societal discourse um so yeah I'm I'm more so just worried about the all of the you know misinformation and and uh for lack of a better term, fake news <laughs> that's probably gonna flood in. Fake news. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm 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 I think that's a very intelligent, you know, view, Bomb. I'm I'm kinda blown away by your answer. But you know, me, I'm the kind of guy that's like, hey look, you know, your civil liberties already been taken away. People just don't know it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you gotta wake up and the misinformation thing I think is cool, but we don't even know if, if some of it is misinformation. Just like you really can't tell the difference between some of these deep fakes, fake news, and then real news. It's almost like, well, wait, what? And then when the deep fake is d reporting the same story as what we consider real news, then that's another part that just like, hmm, well, that's a little bit of a conundrum. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think maybe Elon can help us with this. But I think that if, if Elon, if you are watching, I want you to consider let's pausing the Twitter deal. And considering my OnlyFans deal, because I think like that is more interesting, and I think we can get more people below the waist than with the thumbs. You understand what I'm saying? We get more people dicking around than thumbing around. You know what I mean? So you know, I'm just I'm just I'm joking to a certain degree, um, but I am curious to see the 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 Twitter reaction from the Facebook earnings today, because everybody thought Facebook was going to crash and burn. I'm like, there's no way. They are going to report and say that the companies. I still didn't buy any, but because I was just like, yo, I'm not sure. And I got fucked on Facebook once. I'm still feeling the effects of it. It wasn't a good fucking. It was one of those bad fuckings. You know what I'm saying? When you're like drunk and you know you you looking at the motherfucking chicken. At first you look like Holly Berry, but then when you get her home, it's Missy Elliott again. God damn it. Anyway. But uh, yeah, I got fucked on Facebook. But Facebook's doing pretty good. And I mean, it's already down. Down there, forty-seven percent from the low. So let's just say, you know, it's bounced twenty percent today. So is that going to happen to Twitter? Is Elon Musk's participation in Twitter is is that the catalyst to actually push Twitter to the one hundred dollar mark, the 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 two hundred dollar mark? You know, I remember Twitter was fourteen bucks. I mean, or I don't know how much it is now. I mean, it's probably like around forty something, fifty, hovering around that area, but. I mean, from 14 to where it is now, it's massive. So to go from 14 to fucking 200 or or even beyond, because, I mean, originally Facebook did a reverse split. So at one point, I mean, what was Facebook at its high? 700, 800 a share? That bomb's like, man, I don't fucking know. It's <laughs> like, I mean, this shit is fucking nuts, you know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, uh, the one thing that I think Elon Musk has to worry about is black Twitter. And that's because black Twitter is... Twitter, but its own world. It's doing its own thing. So is Elon going to be a friend? Elon, are you a friend to black Twitter? We want to know. And we got to find out because if you lose your core of black Twitter, does Twitter fall apart? 
Do you censor some political people who have a different message? Somebody, okay, say Pootie starts tweeting. You know what I'm saying? Do you block him? Do you block old Pootie? Or do you just let him rip? Or does Pootie not get the privilege of free speech because he's a goddamn murderer? He's a war criminal. (laughs) Yeah, he's a war criminal. He's he's in a war crime. So does he not deserve uh, those civil liberties that everyone else has? Should, Should Pootie's Twitter feed be cut? Do we cut it? I mean, he he's in a such a position of power that he's able to suppress other people's civil liberties. You know, there's so many violations of that going on in Russia. I, mm. I don't think it would be unfair. Oh, so you're saying now the shoe is on the other foot. The yeah. shoe is on the other foot now, Pootie. That's what Bomb sent it, t- t- trying to tell you. Bomb sending you a message directly to the Kremlin. You're a criminal. There's only criminals at the Kremlin. That's what Bomb's trying to, he's trying to get to your head, Pootie. You haven't been listening to Bomb. You know, we, we sent you numerous emails to your people for you to come on the show. You haven't responded. So now we're on the attack. That's right, Pootie. Now you're in a hot seat, and we're coming after you in ways that you probably have never been came after before. I'm going to be frank with you, Pootie. Elon's a friend of the show. That's why I'm promoting Twitter right now, because he's a friend of the show. And I know he's – we all haven't been seeing eye to eye, and I gave you, I gave you the opportunity, Pootie. But now I have to take it back. That opportunity that was given to you, I'm taking it back. I'm reneging on that opportunity. And I know that you're you're not used to re- renigs, but I'm that kind of nig that renigs on these things, Pootie. That's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down to your level. You know, I'm Michelle Obama said stay here, but not with a Pootie. You know what I'm saying, Bomb? This is a street thing. That's right. So you gotta get down to the street. We gotta get street with it, Pootie. I gotta I gotta look you right in the eyes. And I got to roll my sleeves up before I punch your old school style, you know? You remember that 1920s? I used to fight in the 20s. All right, boom! You know what I'm saying? They hold their hands like this. Yeah, come on, Pootie. Boom! You know what I'm saying? Brad, bare knuckles, Pootie. I'm challenging Pootie to a bare knuckles fight. And I want Elon Musk to be the referee. You know what I'm saying? Elon, I want, because he's the only guy I trust. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the kind of guy with enough money you can't buy. And that's the, that's, what we, that's the kind of referee we need. We need somebody that money can't buy. And a bare knuckles bra. Mono to mono, Pootie. All right? Bare knuckles and uh, what's the location? Where should we, where should we fight? It's got to be a neutral, neutral territory. Mm. Not my place, not I was place. I was about to say North Philly, and then you said neutral territory. No, I'm neutral, because <laughs> if he comes to Philly, and Pootie, if you come to North Philly, my niggas going to fuck you up, Pootie. I got some real niggas that don't like you, Pootie. They waiting for your ass to come to Philly. We going to fuck you up from the airport to North for Broad and Dolphin, Pootie. Some real hard pipe-hitting motherfuckers from the hood looking for your ass, Pootie. They not fucking with you. I got some young boys, too, on that perk. I got some old head crackhead killer motherfuckers. And I got some young bull per- perky old head type motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Running around listening to Little Dirt, just itching to pop a cap and pootie. That's all they thinking about. This is like, man, where the fuck is Putin? I just want to end this fucking Ukraine war. Send me over there, raw. That's how they talk to me. They say, send, send me over there, raw. Fucking put a cap and pootie tonight. I say, ah, man, yeah, we can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the politic thing, you know what I'm saying? Until we get the call. You know, from, you know, them higher ups, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even the government, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you know, the people that's that I fuck with. Because, you know, I fuck with people that's bigger than the government, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, Queen Elizabeth on speed dial, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know all kind of um, royalties and, and stuff like that to be hitting my jack. You know what I'm, no, I'm just saying. But anyway, Pooty, you better watch your ass, though. You come to North Philly, we'd fuck you up bad, man. You wouldn't make it out alive. It wouldn't be a fight. It'd be a goddamn massacre. You know, I'd, I'd love to get Pootie in a room, though. I mean, like, real shit, though. Just like Pootie, Chi, you know, Elon, uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth. You know, just a rap session. You know what I'm saying? To see what everybody's thinking about, you know, where things are going. I, 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 maybe, <laughs> I left out by it. <laughs> maybe I should. Should I invite Joe? Should I invite Sleepy Joe? I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I'd rather invite Charles Koch. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather hang out with me, Charles Koch, Elon Musk, Queen Elizabeth, Pootie, 
President Chi's lying ass. Chi, you lying bastard. Whew, when I get my hands on you, Chi. Oh, my God. Anyway, when I get you in the hot seat, Chi, when I get to ask Chi questions, they, those hard questions, when they start hitting, he's going to wish he was in a ring. He's going to wish he was facing on Mike Tyson on an airplane after he just insulted him. That's who he's going to wish he was with. When I'm just hitting them with the questions, the hard questions, they're going to feel like I'm Mike Tyson airplane punches. That's what they're going to feel like. That's what they're going to feel like, Chi. But anyway, me, Elon, Queen Elizabeth, uh, uh, who else I say? Chi, Pooty, who else? Charles Coke. Charles Coke. Okay, I can invite him over. And then I got to get somebody that, got, that can have my back. You know what I'm saying? I got to bring Robert F. Smith with me. Or else I'm not coming. You know what I'm saying? I'll call Rob and say, hey, Rob, I got some heavy lifting. We're going to go kick some international pooty tang. Need you to come with. Because, you know, bosses like to talk to bosses. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll take, you know, I, I wonder if I could put Robert F. Smith and, and, and maybe like uh, Jay-Z, get them all in a room. Maybe me, Jay-Z, going up against... Me, Jay Z, Robert F. Smith, Elon Musk going against Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would it work? I think we could. I, w- w- the, the plan is to con- find common ground. Cause see, listen, I got no problem with Queen Elizabeth. You know, I'm not Megan Markel. See, I I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Megan, she didn't understand what the hell she was getting herself into. All she had to do was Google. Did Queen Elizabeth ever kill 100 million niggas before? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Your, your great, your fucking mother-in-law is racist. Your great-grandmother is a fucking racist. Who cares? Moving on. What are we going to do moving forward? You know what I'm saying? She's only got a few years left. Anyway. But, um, yeah, I got no beef with Queen Elizabeth. I got no beef with Charles Koch. That's my man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I busted up with him before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got no problem with these guys. You know what I'm saying? Now, who I do got a problem with is Pooty. And I do got a problem with President Xi's lying ass once again. You know what I'm saying? The whole shutdowns in the Shanghai. Xi, what the fuck is going on over there? You haven't been straight. I'm sorry, Elon. Elon we got to pause on Elon. This is all supposed to be about Elon on Twitter. But Xi gets me so fucking revved up. It's like, Chi, you've been over there fucking around and fucking around, and now you got the poor people in Shanghai locked back up again. You got some fucking nerve. Why don't you just accept help, Chi? Huh? Accept our vaccines, Chi. But no, no, you don't want to touch anything American. You want to make it on. You want to do it all yourself, Chi. Chi, Chi, nobody does it all themselves. I mean... Even God has angels. I mean, think about that, Chi. Even God has angels. And what's going on with um, fucking uh, these these lockdowns, the food shortages, Chi? Yeah, the 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 the, the imports, the exports, everything. Chi, you're not being honest. You're not being real, Chi. And that's why first things first, Elon. When we have to sit down, I'm gonna have Chi removed from Twitter. I'm gonna have him removed. You know I, mean? I think it's I think it's a smart thing to do because you've been oppressing the Chinese people for so long, Chi, that I don't think you're their guy. I don't think you're their guy any longer. I think you need to I think we need to put somebody else in, somebody younger, with fresh ideas. Chi, your ideas are old. We already we've already we've already seen how, you know, tricking people and and, and, and and stealing shit. Okay. Now, you stole a lot of shit. That was a, that was a neat trick. You know what I'm saying? You stole a whole bunch of artificial intelligence. Okay, neat trick, G. But now what? Now what? We need younger people. How, how old is President G? By the way, Bob, what, what, give me give me the ages on these people. I need to know Queen Elizabeth's age, which is I already kind of can guess. One thousand. She's one thousand years old. She's never gonna fucking die. Um, also, my Taurus partner. She's a Taurus, so you know. I, she gets Grammy. I was about to say Grammy points. She gets great grand. She gets great great Grammy points for being a Tars. And uh, how old is she? Who, who do you got first? She is fifty nine or sixty nine. Oh, I was about to say she ain't no fifty nine. <laughs> she I was like she. That's why he's so fucking mad. He don't understand. He don't even understand Twitter. Sixty nine years old. He don't even know what the fuck Twitter. He probably don't even know who Elon Musk is. Anyway, moving on. How old is Queen Elizabeth? Old ass. Queen well, who do you got first? Who, uh, who you got next? Putin. Putin is also sixty-nine. Okay, Put, but Putin. Uh, Putin looks young. 
White men been fucking aging like black men lately. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is going on? Old he's, white guys don't crack. They're they're saying he's he's got some health problems though, because oh, Pootie, his, yeah, because his face is bloated and it's oh, like his dementia. hands are shaking. Oh, Pootie's he's, fucked up. Yeah, oh. he he might he might not be well. Too much beluga vodka, huh, Pootie? <laughs> huh? You gotta cut back on that shit, man. Queen Queen Elizabeth is 96. Damn. 96 still going out buying Richard Millie's. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout out Queen Elizabeth. She got more Richard Millie's than fucking Pharrell. You know what I'm saying? All right, what about Elon? Talk to me. Mm, Elon Musk. Elon is 50. Damn, Elon Musk is only 50 years old? Yeah. What am I doing with my life? Oh, my God. I didn't want to hear that. You're not supposed to measure yourself to other people. I mean, you know, like, you're not supposed to wake up and start comparing yourself to Jigga Man, Elon Musk, Kanye West. And, but I do because I've got sick problems. I'm very competitive. But I'm not catching up to Elon Musk anytime soon. And I don't like it. I'm very upset about that, but it does hurt. Anyway, that makes me want to cry. Makes me want to cry. Nope. But you know what somebody told me earlier? They said, you know, they said, he said, I read something where Elon Musk was renting an apartment or something like that. Or, or what, what was Jay-Z? I think it was Jay-Z. Anyway, Jay-Z or Elon Musk, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, they said a written apartment, and it was $500,000 a month. And he was like, you know, sometimes you just can't worry about what you, the 10% of the stuff that you don't have when you've already been blessed with 90% of something else. So that's a good way to look at it. But, I mean, damn, that boy is only 50 years old. He's the richest man on earth. Like, what the fuck? When did he start PayPal? What the hell? I want to go back to my life history because I want to. I want to go on the Elon Musk life trajectory path. On when Elon Musk started PayPal, what was I doing around that time? I'm just curious because I should have been hanging out with him. What was the year PayPal started? PayPal. Uh, we'll see. Thank you, Bob. Bob was like, "Look, what the fuck? Out. You got me doing two jobs. I want to raise." <laughs> uh, PayPal was founded in December of '98. Oh, damn it, December of '98. What was I doing? I was rolling a backwood, and I believe I was sitting in Larry Gold's studio. I thought I was Elon Musk at that time. That was the problem. People thinking they're Elon Musk, and you ain't Elon Musk yet. I was fucking rolling in it, boy. I was a young player. December 1998. Oh, man. I think I just signed my record deal, so I probably wasn't paying attention to what anybody was saying on planet Earth. I probably thought that, that was a time where I knew everything. <laughs> it's like, they're like, Dice, can we talk to you about your taxes? Listen, man, Uncle Sam can kiss my ass. He'll get his money whenever he gets it. They're like, uh, that's not the approach, Carl. Tell him to suck my dick. <laughs> all kind of goofy. I was telling Uncle Sam suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? Later on, later on, it didn't work out. It didn't work out in, in uh, getting my, I, I never got my dick sucked, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Sam. Thanks, pal. They actually fucking kick your dick in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? That's the IRS dude. You think you're gonna get your dick sucked? Fucking with the IRS? No, they they kicking dick. They kicking dick dust. That's what they doing. They kicking a lot of dick dust. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get dick dust on your dick, or get or 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 get your dick in the dirt. You two things you just don't want to do. Trust me. On you this. Know- did you know Elon Musk has seven kids? I just found Damn, that out. Yeah, he got seven kids, seven baby mamas? Yeah. Damn, he I, must I don't be, know he black. He's, I don't know how many, that's, that's how many different moms. He is moms, South African. But, yeah. He picked up the wrong shit from him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nevada Musk, Griffin, and Xavier Musk, okay. Kai Saxon, and Damian Musk, and then the kid. Oh, he got kid, twins. Yeah, and then the kid that he had with Grimes. That motherfucker got seven baby mamas? Uh, I oh, think no, it's, how, many, how, many, how many baby mamas he got? I think it's four. Damn, Elon, no wonder you like to kick it with the fucking Kanye and Rick Ross and shit. You fuck black, you know what I'm saying? Elon, he, he fucking South African shit is starting to seep through. He's going to take a mask on, there's going to be a nigga under there. They're going to be like, oh my God, oh my God. Then it, he'll, he'll never do that because they'll fucking put out a task force. He'll be, he'll be dead in a day. Elon must took a mask off. He wound up being black. He'll be dead in a day, Elon. You already, you know, he would be dead in a day. Anyway, fucking... um. I can't believe that though. That's a lot of fucking kids though. But when you got a, yeah, when you got no that idea. kind of dough, it's like yo, fuck it. You must just bust nuts. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, I'm coming in this pussy. You just like, oh, I don't want to. It's like yo, because who's not gonna have the kid? It's like the kid's set for life now. You're set for life. I mean, you know, 
I mean, he could just bust a nut up in a chick and just never speak to her again. Just write the check, just right there on the spot. Like, look, I don't, I don't know if you're pregnant or not, but just, just in case, just don't call me. Here's two million. Just, just don't ever call me again. You know, so. <laughs> It's like, hey, you know, it's like when I fuck, I pay two million because I just don't want to talk to the person ever again. You know what I'm saying? Unless the kitty cat's good, then you then then you pay two million just to fuck him again. You know what I'm saying? If you're Elon, I mean, is he on that kind of level of tricosity? I mean, does Elon does Elon pay for the pussy? I mean, at that point, when you're a multi billionaire trillionaire, are you still paying for the pussy? I guess you are because it's just like, eh, you know, because you don't really have a lot of time now. Like, who's the chick I want to have sex with? Okay. I'm a flyer out. Okay, I'm Elon Musk. Where am I at? Oh, I'm on Mars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I always wanted to get my dick sucked on Mars. All right, how much is it going to cost to fly out? Uh, oh, 26 M's? Eh, that ain't nothing. All right, fuck it. Yo, 26 M's. Yo, fly a bitch out to Mars. Uh, I, said it. I said bitch again. Well, this is how Elon Musk talks, not me. <laughs> so Elon Musk is like, look, I'm going to fly a bitch out to Mars. And then you're getting your dick sucked on Mars. Then it's the flight back. So then it's like, well, damn, you paid 26 M to get her there. Now it's another 26 M to get her home. I mean, I mean, could could he have waited, or is head on the is head on Mars priceless? Is this how billionaires think? Multi billionaires? It's like, nah, man. Like, man, I already had head in the whip, had head on the private jet, had head on the helicopter, had head in the submarine, had head on the fucking, you know, motor motor motorbike. You know what I'm saying? Got fucking head in, head in zero gravity, isolation tank. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know what I mean? Like, where else am I going to get head at? Um, Mars. It's like, I get head on Mars. You know what I mean? So, But that shit costing like, you know, $58, 58 million, you know what I mean? Like, you know, round trip. It's kind of goofy. Like, but would somebody, I mean, is there somebody that you would pay that for? Like, Bob, do you know, do you have a girl right now, like, that... You would pay fifty eight million the round trip if you was Elon Musk <laughs> for, for for head on Mars. I mean, but you 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 woke up real horny that day and it's like all the girls is on, on Earth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, is there one girl like yo, like I'm about to really spend twenty six M on an Uber, you know what I'm saying, to get her up here. You know what I'm saying? Like Uber Uber Mars. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna hit, hit the twenty six M. Who who who's your who's your fifty fifty eight M? Round trip ticket. Who who is she? Uh, does it, does it have to be somebody I know? Is this just yeah, like anybody? Yeah. I mean, it should be somebody anybody, you know anybody. because you've already had you've already tasted their wares. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. So I mean, to fly somebody out on a 26 M, to fly somebody out on a 26 M one way ticket without tasting the kitty cat first <laughs> is risky. Yeah, it's a high risk maneuver. But again, you're a multi billionaire megalomaniac. You own up. You don't give a fuck. You can do whatever you want. I don't know if that, if I have one specific person. Honestly, I don't, I don't know so if I've ever. I don't know if I've ever so, pondered oh, no, that. That's that's, that that's circumstance. economic. That's yeah. economically sound. So you fly a bunch of bitches out to Mars, <laughs> and then you repopulate the planet with them. So mm-hmm. it's worth it. Yeah. So you you fly what like what thousand two thousand? Are your closest? However many yeah. girlfriends. Okay. However many can can fit. One thousand, two thousand girlfriends of your girlfriends on the, on the spaceship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> however, you, however, however many you can fit on a spaceship. Well. I mean, do you do they all? You talking about seats, or are we just lining them up on on the aisles and just stacking them up on top of each other? Or are we talking about seats? Nah, they need they all need seats. Okay, you're I, want, I want it to be a comfortable ride. You're romantic. Yeah, Bob's <laughs> a romantic. You know, so he wants all of it. He wants all of his one thousand girlfriends to have seats on the plane. Uh, he's a sweet guy, so you know, <laughs> you wouldn't stack them on top of each other. You know what I'm no. saying? Okay, all right. You wouldn't make him sixty nine all the way there to Mars. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Nah, that's too much. <laughs> you're, too, you're sweet. You're a sweet boy. He, see, Bob's a sweet lad. That's what he is. He's a sweet lad. I'm a, he's not Irish though. You know what I'm saying? But um, so um, you know, my thing is though, after you, after you've had the billionaire opportunities with with the opposite sex. I mean, because there's women out there too. I mean, Nicki Minaj. I mean, she's got a lot of money. I mean. Is she flying in multiple clit lickers? You know what I'm saying? Like you know, lining, having these buff, <clears throat> buff neck, you know, motherfuckers with you know, with Cuban necklaces, just lining up, licking her, licking her kitty cat, just kicking them out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is that type of shit that goes on? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Is this Queen Elizabeth? Like, how would she get her rocks off? Cause obviously, it wasn't you know, you know, her husband who just died. What was his name? Prince David or Prince Michael or what the fuck? Prin- was? Prince Andrew or something. Or Prince Charles? I, I don't. It was know. Prince Charles is her son. I, I want to say. Like, uh, uh, 
Yeah, I I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was something to begin with an A. He just recently died. I feel like it was like Deacon Michael or something like, or something like. Maybe it was Charles or something. Anyway, that's Philip. Prince Philip. Prince Philip. Philip. Prince Philip. Hello, it's Queen Elizabeth. I'd like to get my pussy ate today. Prince Philip, please. Could you come over in six? I want to 69 with you. It is me, the queen. I'll probably get killed for this shit. She's going to have me murdered. Queen Elizabeth watching this shit right now. Going like this. Like, <laughs> motherfucker. I, that's somebody, that's somebody I don't want to fuck with, though. It's like, I'll fuck with she and all that shit. Yo, I'm, I'm just joking. Queen Elizabeth, if you are watching, you know I'm a big fan. Um, if you are watching, I, I just, just, just jokes. But like, Philip, could you please come in here, please, and lick my kitty cut because I've, I've, I'll give, promise I'll give you a crumpet. If you eat me out, I'll give you a crumpet later, Philip. Philip? Philip? Don't know, Philip is dead! Before I got my kitty cat ate, oh my god. Now what do I do? She's like, uh, did anybody have Idris's Elba's phone number? She's like, oh, Idris Elba! Oh, I remember when you came to see my daughter-in-law, the horrible, my horrible granddaughter-in-law. Uh, Megan Markel, you were at our wedding, and you were looking like a handsome African, and I would, I used to have sex with Africans like you all day long, and now I just, I'm older now, so would you please come by the castle? I hear you're British, you're a British Negro, and I would love to hear you talk Negro to me in a British accent, and I will, I will be waiting for you. Uh, Philip, is, oh, Philip, he's dead. Uh, which is why I reached out to you, Idris Elba. Uh, please come over. This is your queen. Uh, is that a <laughs> British accent? <laughs> it's her accent. So she's like, this is Queen Elizabeth. Oh, I don't know how she sounds. I can only imagine it's very proper. I can only imagine she sounds very proper. Hello, Elon. Elon Musk, you're South African. Do you have any Africans I could fuck? Please bring them over to the castle. And, and kill Carl Dysrod Jenkins. Please have him murdered. Do you know any Philadelphia Italian mobsters? Nice ones. Is 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 I hear his 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 engineer is a tough Jew. Anyway, he'll have him whacked for me. Is he anything like my old friend Maya Lansky? Oh, he was a gangster. I me and Maya I used to fuck Maya Lansky as well. I get give him kitty cat. In all the kitty cat he wanted. No, you okay. Th- you think you think the the queen was a, a freak back in the fifties? Oh hell and 60s? Yeah, she's a Taurus. She's yeah. a fucking sex addict. Oh yeah. She's a sex addict. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, Queen Elizabeth has no self control. She can't stop killing and she can't stop fucking buying Richard Mills. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Queen Elizabeth, let leave some in the store for everyone else, okay, Queen Elizabeth? God damn it. Nah, she's she's a fucking megalomaniac. I, you know, I'd, 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 I'd take her out. I'd say that. I'd, I'd hang out with her. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to beat it up. I wouldn't even want to look at it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, like, it's like, yo, would you would you have sex with Queen Elizabeth for any particular dollar amount? It's like, damn, I just want, I just want to be her buddy. <laughs> it's like, let's just be friends, man. You know, like if, if you want to hang out, if Idris Elba's busy, you know, I mean, I'll hang out with you. You know what I'm saying? But she's like, oh no, me and Idris are uh, madly in love. Oh, he's going to leave his wife for me. Yes. Anyway, Elon, back to Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I want to know how much money. Would it take for Queen Elizabeth to get Elon Musk to go down on her? You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder, like, is that her dollar amount? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. She's like, hello, Elon, this is the queen. I was calling because I heard you have several baby mothers. And I, I, you know, I'm a big freak and I'm a big fan of Tesla. So I was going to offer you a private invitation to Buckingham Palace. Or we can call it Buckingham tonight because... I'm trying to get my fuck on. Uh, this is the queen. And all of a sudden, like, beep. And like, oh, I, I think I left a voicemail. Oh, that was, I, I thought I was talking to Elon. Oh, there was, a, I, left a, I left a voicemail. <laughs> Bob, how much money would it take for you to go down on Queen Elizabeth? Like, how much would it take? Until she <sighs> orgasms. Oh, God. She's got the <laughs> dough, man. She's got the dough. Are you are you for sale, though, Bob? Are you for sale for Queen Elizabeth? Nah. No? I oh, no? I can't you say, say no. I am. can't no. say okay. So she's like, hey, Bob, uh, listen, I watched Dice Roth's Raw Report, and I hear you're a very handsome young man. I hear you look like a long John Leguizano. 
Would you please come by Buckingham Palace? I uh, no no nothing romantic. I I just want to hang out with you, bum. And then when you get there, she's like, okay, bum. I I've got two hundred million dollars in U.S. gold cougaran over there in two briefcases for you, bum. And, and it's all yours. And you and you get up. And she says, but one thing. Would you lick the kitty cat until I orgasm? She says it just like that's the sentence that she uses. Will you lick the kitty cat until I orgasm? And then the 200 in U.S. gold cougaran is all yours, mom. <laughs> what is your next move? Do you say thank you, no thank you? Yeah, I, I feel like I might have to pass on that one. If Damn, I was going to if I was gonna do it, it would have to be a lot because I'm that my my music career has got to be set after that. That's that's my condition. Okay, okay, <laughs> but but your music career is set. What are you talking about? It's yeah. already set. You yeah. don't have nothing to worry about, Bob. Yeah. You gotta have faith. Yeah, so I don't need her. You I'm you don't need it, but but you want right. her. But maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe she's kind. Of, maybe you guys have kind of got a vibe now, like like the like on Ozark. You watch Ozark? No. Nah. Okay, well, this, is, this is a show. Ozark, I've heard it's very good. Where there's a young guy your age who's dating a woman. Who I mean, she might have been about ten years younger than Queen Elizabeth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, twenty. I mean, she looked really old, and I'm sure that's Hollywood. I'm sure this woman, if she came in here right now, you know, she would look a whole lot better than she does on the show. But I mean, but they made her look like a heroine type of, you know, what I mean, so an old person, and um, and they were madly in love. I mean, they they were like hitting it off. I mean, like getting married and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Getting fucking married. Like, wh- wh- what's the oldest you could go? Like, <laughs> how old's Mary J? How old's Mary, Mary J. J. Blige? See, bomb, bomb likes the chocolate. <laughs> bomb, bomb likes the chocolate. He says, "Hey, hey, um, uh, how old not is that she, Mary? not that she's really aging, but like, bomb said, how old is Mary J. Blige? Fifty-one. I, I could go higher than that. Damn, I could go, bomb. I could so, go so like Mary J. Blige 50s. is your type. Yeah, Mary." Yeah. Come on the show, Bob. I'll get married. Now you got. I got to get married on the show for Bob. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bob, yo. Know, every day I hang out with this guy, I like him more and more. I tell you, boy. This motherfucker just said, "How old is uh Mary Mary J?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary. Hey, Bob's pretty handsome. I'm trying to tell you. You might want a young a young strap on your arm, Mary. If uh if uh Cher can do it. How come uh, Mary J can't? Huh? Mary J, take a page out of Cher's book and get with my boy Bomb. I'm going to try to hook it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm DM Mary some of uh, Bomb's page. You know what's so funny about Mary J, though? What's that? I was in an elevator with Mary one night, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm leaving like the gym, and she must have been staying in a hotel where I, where I go to like to you know do gym stuff. Obviously, I go a lot, right? Because I'm so buff. But anyway, well, I'm, I'm in there one night. And there's like a white family on the elevator. I, I don't even, all I see is them when I get on the elevator. I just see this white family and they're talking and like, they're very excited. They're like, oh yeah, so when you, how long are you in town for? And I'm like, who the fuck are they talking to? So I turn around because the whole family is engaged. Like even the kids are like, okay, and what else are you going? I'm like, what the, who the fuck? I turn around, it's Mary J. Blige. I couldn't fucking believe it. And Mary's just like, you know, in, like in full Mary mode, like listening but kind of like, mm-hmm, like got that whole thing going, and uh, and I said, oh shit, this fucking Mary J. Blige. But they they were all having a good time. The elevator ride was way too long, and um, but they we we all survived it. And then you know what else I saw in there too one night. Um, what's his name? The comedian, not the one that you look like, but uh, Mulaney. Mm. John Mulaney, and I was so mad because I was cursing somebody out on the phone. I can't even remember who I was cursing out on the phone. And he was cursing out somebody on the phone. And we were walking back and forth, like, basically cursing out motherfuckers on the fucking phone. And I kept wanting to say something to him because I'm such a big fan. And he was looking like, yo, do you want, like, an autograph? And I'm like, ah, fuck you, motherfucker. And then he was like, ah, fuck you. Da, da, da. Like, we were both like, I, 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 maybe we were talking to the same person in, the, in like, a... Paradox universe, or or what do they call it? Maybe we're in alternate we were in, universe. Yeah, we were in Zuckerberg's metaverse or something. The alternate ultimate metaverse. You know what I'm saying? Like old old Zucky, you know John Mulaney, Mary J. Blige, all in an alternate world. It's it's weird though that you could go one place and see so many different people from all different walks of life that 
ordinarily probably would never be in the same place. It's pretty interesting. You know, I go to a party every once. Uh, well, it's, we haven't been there for a while, but they, they had these parties where it's like everybody in the world is like there. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how the hell I slip in there, but somehow I get in there. I know, you know, Tariq, you know, I beg him. I say, Black, the thought, you go to that thing, like, please, please let me in. Please get me in. He's like, ah, all right. Carl, you can come. I'm like, ah. But I go to this place, man, and um, everybody in your fucking mom is there. But I, I want to kind of start doing my own. You know what I'm saying? That's what, I, look, I seen Mary there one night. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't talk, though. You know what I'm saying? She was, that's when she was with her estranged husband, the fucking... That that Goomba or whatever the fuck you call him, it's like taking alimony from a woman. Like who does that? Like you just want the if you if a woman's really getting on your nerves, you just want her to leave. Like yo, man, just get the fuck out. Like <laughs> it's like take everything. I don't give a fuck. Like you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I wanna I wanna I wanna have a one one year thing. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll invite me. I'll bring my boy open mic. You know, I'll be invite the roots of course. Um. Mary J. Blige. I want to. I bring Mary, Charles Koch, uh, Elon, Queen Elizabeth, uh, President Xi. If he gets his act together, stop lying. Um, Pooty, if he's able to hear some real talk, you know, I mean, if he's ready for an intervention or something like that, maybe, maybe Pooty, maybe, maybe Trudeau. I like Trudeau. Uh, maybe Trump. We bring Trump back. Some meeting of the minds. Just want to. See where everybody's going with this. And then we could all do it on the Raw Report. You know what I mean? Bomb. Let's put it together. Anyway, this is the Raw Report. This has been a great episode. Elon Musk, let that man do whatever the fuck he wants to do, planet Earth. Get out of his way. Get out of me and Elon's way. Because I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I want. By the time I'm 50, I want to I wanna have as much money as Elon Musk has. But how much money does Elon Musk have? Because I'm not 50. Shh. Elon's older than me, so that's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's... An insane amount. Hold on. I, let me pull He started up. off being a white South African diamond mine or emerald mine heir, heir to emerald mine. So he had a little mm -hmm. bit of a head start. His current net worth is estimated at $264 billion. Okay, it's chump change. It's fucking chump change. Okay. That's doable. That's doable. That's doable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's doable. We need some help. You know, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm need you to make some beats. Mm -hmm. you know, that's one of the things we're going to start with. We're going to start with some beats, and then, uh, then we're going to move on to some raps. And, uh, and I, can't, I can't divulge all our plans, but um, that's the foundation. I mean, we're looking for investors, too. Now i got to get serious. <coughs> I'm take the sunglasses off. When I'm talking to my investors, I use a different level of voice. Uh, this is an investor voice. So please uh, sit down. I'd like to talk to everyone very seriously. And then, uh, yes, uh, we're investing in... Uh, Hard, hard tees and uh, ink pens, and uh, this is where your stock money is going. And uh, we're looking, projections are looking good. Projections are looking looking lovely uh, for the future revenue. Uh, so Elon Musk, see, I can do it. Hire me. Hire me, Elon. I can run your whole shit. You know, I can, we can start putting beats in Teslas, like beats by a Tesla, you know, like you know, beats by Dre, like, and start streaming the music. You see where I'm going with this, pal? You know, maybe I could be CEO, Elon Industries, man. You know, put me in. Put me in, man. Let's talk. All right, anyway, this is Rob Port. We're out of here. Bomb, you know what to do.